Hello and welcome back to another Team Fortress 2 video, though this is one with a little twist. As we know, a summer update is coming this month, hopefully, and as such, Valve, you know, put out their planning an update and made sure that people got the submissions in by the 1st of May. Now that date has come and gone, so hopefully every submission that we see in this video has a chance of making it into the game for this upcoming update. So what I thought would be fun is just go through the workshop, have a look at some of the submissions, um, point out submissions I would personally like to see in game, and yeah, just have a look at the potential content we could be seeing for Team Fortress 2. I'm just going to go through maybe the first 10 or so pages of the workshop, pick out any cosmetics I like, and have a little look at them. So here we are, we're on the first page of the workshop, just browsing the items, and I do want to take a look at this um, war paint. Now, I'm not really a big war paint fan. I don't use them, I'll be the first to admit. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I do actually think this is quite a cool looking war paint. This like dragon um, as the soldier, which I think is very cool. It looked nice on the rocket launcher. And yeah, I'm a big, big fan. They've even changed the icons of each class. So the soldier has a bamboo stick. The pyro has some leaves, I'm guessing seaweed. Um, and then the sniper has some other leaves. And I think it's a very nice design. The, the Dynasty collection. So while I'm not a huge, huge fan of war paints, I do think this one is pretty cool. And then moving straight on to the next item, the Borrowed Valor or the Self-Made Man. Just look at it here. I think it fits in with the sort of style of the soldier. I think he would be someone to make his own medals because, well, if you've read the lore, you know, you know all about that. But yeah, I think it's a very nice looking cosmetic. It fits in well with the TF2 art style and would just be a nice upgrade to anyone's soldier loadout. I'm especially liking the ones they've got going on here. They've picked some very good cosmetics to show alongside this item. So yeah, it's very cool. Now I can't see myself using it personally. Um, that is simply because I'm pretty happy with my soldier loadout already. I think it looks really nice. Um, would fit TF2 very well. And I just like this image here of like the, the Obama meme. It's a very nice looking cosmetic. Um, I wouldn't be miffed if it made it into game despite me not going to use it. And then I wanted to touch on the shortness of breath. Now this is a cosmetic I saw on my Twitter and I think it looks very nice. As you can see it works with a multitude of soldier cosmetics. Um, it might not be one I would use personally. I'm not really sure I could work into a loadout um, that I've already got existing. Maybe create a new loadout for this cosmetic. But I do think it looks really nice. Um, it's a very cool cosmetic. Very Fallout-esque. I think it's a nice cosmetic. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and speaking of Fallout, um, this person has created an entire Fallout-themed set. The Fallout Lad. And I'm quite a fan. So it's this whole set of the Gravel Guard, the Nuclear Nomad, and the Desert Shroud. So yep, Desert Shroud is a very cool body cosmetic. As you can see, works with quite a few loadouts. Um, gives the Demon Man a little cape. And then the Gravel Guard as well is a very cool mask. As you can see, he works with the multitude of loadouts as well. And it comes in different styles, which I think, you know, I think is a cool, uh, a cool little cosmetic. The problem with me is that I've created loadouts I'm a big fan of already. But hey, there's always room for change and putting new cosmetics in there and the gravel guard is one of those cosmetics which i think looks very very nice i'm a fan of this unusual effect i think it looks very fun it is the bootloader boogaloo just got a lot of error messages which you know is quite funny um and I, yeah i think i just think it looks quite quite a cool effect like i said it's very unlikely i'll unlock an unusual but i just think this is a very fun unusual effect i think it's very cool cool idea especially for an engineer um hat i think i could go pretty hard and then this set this whole set here, this um, scuba set for the spy, I think is very fun. Just look at it. You've got a little duck hat with the um, the snorkel and the mask. And you've got a wetsuit and some flippers as well. I think this is a very cool set. Yeah, it's definitely a cosmetic I would like. And I'd try to implement it to one of my own loadouts because I just think it's very cool. It's very fun. It's just like an old school sort of spy scuba gear for, you know, espionage missions. And I think this is very fun. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to this being in-game. I probably wouldn't use the flippers or the snorkel. I'd definitely try and get the wetsuit implemented into a loadout. Um, but yeah, just a very cool cosmetic. Um, one I would not be opposed to seeing in-game. And another one I wouldn't be opposed to seeing in-game is the Adventurous Aspect. Now, this is a very cool-looking pyro cosmetic. Um, I think it's quite, quite nice, to be honest. I'm not sure where I would use it in-game, but you can paint the, I guess, the shroud, the cloth, which I think is a very cool feature. And yeah, I think it's a very nice 
um, very nice cosmetic. That's all I can really say about it. It just looks cool. It's got like fantasy vibes, which I like. Um, I'm a big fan of sort of all the fantasy medieval cosmetics the Pyro has. And this being another one of them would be a big dub in my opinion. But yeah, the Pyro's got a lot of nice coats, so that would just make my choices harder, if anything. Uh, and they move to the pop printed war paint, which I think is very nice. Um, if we go to this preview image here, just the POW banana crash crit, I think it looks very cool. Um, you can see it how they lay it out on different weapons. The winger, very sick. The fish, very sick. Yeah, it's just very cool. Oh, that in blue as well. In blue, it looks amazing. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Pop printed. It looks nice. It, it does look nice. I've, I have a feeling it has like a metallic glow as well, or metallic shine, should I say, which would make it look extra cool. And then another wall paint that I want to talk about is the Sakura Splinters wall paint. Now, I'm a fan of the cleaner version, of course, factory new, but it doesn't look that bad with all the scarring on it. It's just I prefer factory new, you know? And I think it looks very nice. Obviously, it looks better on other weapons than others, I guess you could say. Like, it doesn't look the best on the wrench, but on the black box, it looks perfect. And I think a black box is a cheat code of a skin when designing um, a war paint because you can just make it look amazing. Because there's so much flat space, just go go crazy on your designs. And then the Snaggletooth war paint as well. This is one I'm a big, big fan of. Um, don't know if you saw my Crocodile swag video, but... I'm quite a fan of the uh, Crocodile Cosmetics that the Sniper has. And these uh, wall paints are no different. Now they offer every class, of course, but they look great on the Sniper. Look great here as well. And then, yeah, just a Sniper in front of the Crocodiles. Very cool. I would like to see it in-game to, you know, further my Crocodile drip, if anything. I'm going to be a bit controversial here and say normally I'm not a fan of these muscly cosmetics, you know, making the soldier muscly, making the uh, the medic muscly, making the demo man muscly. But I really do like these engineer arms. I think I can see a way of working into a loadout or two, um, which is a good way to win me over when it comes to making a cosmetic. But yeah, I actually think this arm cosmetic is very cool. There's also a clean version. This is the bear style, so he's got a bit of hair on his arms, but... It's a nice cosmetic. It's very well made. And I think if you're paired it with the, the belly, the egghead overalls, I think kind of like a, a funny loadout. <laughs> and then for the scout, we've got the uh, conspiracy cover up. Now, this is the off brand style, but still a very nice looking cosmetic. Maybe a bit edgy for those edgy scout players. I know it's based off of a character. The name just slips in my mind at the moment. But yeah, it looks very nice. It looks very nice. Nostalgia wrapped. This is a very nice looking war paint here. I'm a big Big fan of this. I hate that the line is kind of off center on the shotgun. I don't like that at all. But other than that, this looks like a very, very cool set of war paints. I'm a big, big fan of that. It's lovely. It looks like it's um, different between each weapon as well, between each skin. So it has like different wares which move the patterns along, which is a very cool feature. But yeah, it just looks very clean, very nice. Very clean, very nice. And then another banger of a coat. Um, looks like it's part of a Frontier set, so for the NG and the Pyro. Trailblazer here looks very, very cool. Very detailed as well, actually, which is quite surprising for a, a TF2 cosmetic. But it looks like it's a full body set going on here, and I like it. It does look very nice. Again, not sure how I'd implement it into my own sets because I'm pretty set in my ways for them. But yeah, Trailblazer looks amazing. Um, it looks like it would just be the coat, which I'm the biggest fan of. I mean, the trousers are all right as well, but I'm a huge fan of the coat. But yeah, very cool. Uh, this is the cleaner's cap. I think it's a very cool spy hat. And um, the whole set looks quite nice. Um, does look a lot like the liquidator's lid um, for the sniper. But the glasses look a bit bigger, I think. And genuinely, it's a very nice cosmetic. A paintable beanie as well. Very nice. I um, wonder how it'd pair with the binoculars. They haven't really showed us on here. But I think that could look quite funny. So you got this lovely jacket as well with a turtleneck style and just a normal undershirt by the looks of things showing a bit of a uh, bit of chest there <laughs> but yeah both very nice cosmetics a very nice um set i think this is quite a nice medic cosmetic the uh doctor death mask um very much robot medic esque it looks sort of like the um medic bot we see in mvm but yeah a very very cool medic cosmetic could work on many loadouts as we're seeing here i'm a big fan of this blue one here and this red one next to it actually they're quite cool yeah, very nice. There's a lot of very nice cosmetics in this that have been submitted. I think everyone saw that, hey, this is our best chance to get guaranteed into the video game. we got to put our all in. And you know what? They've done very, very well. A lot of very, very cool cosmetics. Um, storage unit from CSGO right there. Could be a very useful addition, actually. I could put all my robot parts in there, which would free up a lot of space. 
We're going to look at a few more, because um, I could be here all day just going through cosmetics, but we're going to start with the business casual. Big fan of this style specifically. I think it's just like a an engineer guy's name to got a nice little suit on, but there are other styles as well. They're all very nice. You know, you got a bow tie, you got checks. It's cool. It's cool. Just a nice clean engineer cosmetic. And I always wanted to talk about the Sunlight Warrior. This one here for the pyro. Speak of the uh, medieval cosmetics. These are some of my favorite pyro cosmetics, especially that blue guy in the middle. Very cool. I realize it is Dark Souls themed um, or inspired by Dark Souls. And it does look good. It's a very well made cosmetic. I think the option of having eyes on or off is also a very cool feature. And yeah, I think that would suit the pyro down to the ground, as we saw with the cosmetic sets they made. So yeah, we're going to look at a couple more. I don't want to get carried away here. And I think it'd be criminal to go any further without looking at at least one of Neo Dement's items, and it is the Short Temper. Now this is a whole Duke Nukem hairstyle for the engineer, and boy, does this hairstyle look phenomenal. So you can get it without the glasses or with, and yeah, either way, I think it looks very, very cool. I mean, there's no guarantee I will use it, but as you can see with the monoculus, yeah, it's a very cool cosmetic. And if I ever did want a hairstyle like this for the engineer, I'd be happy to happy to have it. So yeah, um, very good from Neo Dement. They always make good cosmetics, though, to be fair. For the final cosmetic, we're going to look at this lovely pyro cosmetic here. And it is, well, looks to be just a button-up shirt. So we've got Hawaiian, we've got a stripy one, and we've got the flames classic flame shirt i actually own one myself as you can tell i'm a big fan of the flame shirt design um yes i think it's a very a very cool cosmetic and it suits the pyro down to the ground as well in my opinion yeah i'm just a huge huge fan of the flame style <laughs> that's what sold it to me as soon as i saw this thumbnail i was like yes need that in the game very very cool if anything gets in the game it better be this one <laughs> and then i can match with my own pyro Actually, before I end up, there is one more that I wanted to check out. Let me see if I can find it. This whole set, the rainy day wear from my friend Shork. He made this along with a 3D modeler. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks very cool. Is that an Among Us there? Oh my god. Uh, very cool looking cosmetic for the pyro. It's a rain hat and a rain coat. Um, now, while I personally wouldn't use it, um, I do think it's a very nice looking cosmetic. And I know Shork and the... Uh, Two Ton Moon worked hard to create this design, and yeah, I just think it's really nice. Very nice cosmetic, also changes the pyro icon to a little thundercloud, which I think is a very nice touch, so yeah, lovely stuff. And yeah, that was a sort of quick look through at the Team Fortress 2 workshop in preparation for the big, big sum update we're going to receive. Yeah, there's a lot of cool cosmetics in there, um, if even one or just two of these cosmetics made it into the game, I will be very happy. You've made any of these um cosmetics or wall paints or unusuals that i've featured in this video brilliant job you're doing the community proud and just keeping the community going so i can't thank you enough for that um and yeah if you saw anything in here that you'd like in the game please comment down below i'd love to hear what you're thinking um workshop creators you're making the community proud with loads of the amazing items you put out every day hope you have a nice rest of your day like and subscribe and i shall see you guys in the next video peace hey, oh. I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.